Hey loves, it's Christy Love and welcome back to my channel. It's Friday night, ladies, so you know what time it is. Girl, it's time for a little chit chat. Hey girl, hey. First things first, there's no chocolate tonight, ladies. What, no chocolate? Mm, that's the same thing I said. First off, the drink that we're having is called a Moscato Float, okay? So I decided um, it has ice cream in it and I decided since I'm having ice cream, I'm not gonna have chocolate too. You know, split those calories up. Listen, sometimes it's a whole decision. And for me, the two things that I love the most to binge out on is either ice cream or wine. So therefore, when I found out I can put both of them together, I was like, yes, honey, give me one of those. So I went to Pinterest and I found this drink. Again, this is a Moscato, um, yes, honey, Moscato float, okay? So basically it has in it, you start off with like a few scoops of ice cream at the bottom. Then you put, um, I know it looks kind of janky, but it's delicious. So you put a few scoops of ice cream at the bottom. Then you put a little strawberry soda, honey, Fanta to be exact. <laughs> and then you top and only like maybe a quarter cup of Fanta because you're just using that for the color. And then the rest is Moscato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl. So if you love an ice cream float, you will love this. Okay, I'm gonna put it down, okay? So, Sephora is having a $10 flash sale. So the $10 flash sale, if you buy it, it's like a subscription, you've bought it for the whole year, and everything you purchase online gets free shipping. So, you can just strictly go and pay for the $10 free shipping, or you can buy something and then add the $10 free shipping to your cart, and then you don't pay shipping on that item as well. But again, for one whole year, I'm gonna pay no shipping, I don't know if you're like me, but a lot of times my cart always has something in it. And then when I think about, oh, I gotta put for shipping too, then I don't end up buying it. So it just sits there until I figure out, okay, I need all this stuff or whatever. So $10 free shipping for one year. There's a lot of terms and conditions, so you need to read those terms and conditions because if you're not happy with your $10 purchase, girl, don't call me because I ain't giving you your $10 back, okay? <laughs> so I did it and I'm really super excited about it. I did place an order. Um, so I'm not sure I'm gonna share that with you ladies because most of the items um, are for a gift. But anyway, um, maybe we'll show you a few things, okay? Anyway, so again, Sephora $10 flash sale. It's hard to find on your phone, but if you go to a regular computer or if you turn your computer to the desktop version, sorry, if you turn your phone to the desktop version, then you can find the $10 flash. You can just put it in the Sephora search engine says $10 subscription or something like that, $10 flash subscription whatever ten dollars on it and it'll come up as one of the options for you to select okay so there's that and then the beauty item that i'm crushing on for the week is the covergirl queen cc cream it is oil free and it says it evens your skin tone which I can use okay so I picked this up this week and the very first time I tried it on I tried to do a video for you ladies and I did not like it I don't know what it was it could have been the lighting it could have been what have you so part of the video I went back to watch it and I was like girl that is cute but my first impression was I did not like it on me so ladies when you're using something for the first time and you say oh this doesn't work for me give it another try or two because you might absolutely fall in love with it on a different day so i thought perhaps i need a darker color now this is number six sorry q630 in golden honey it is the second to the darkest color and they only have like five or six shades yeah you know how they do us so anyway um the next day i tried it on loved it okay and i actually picked this up because i needed something for like basketball games on saturday i didn't want to be that mom that was there overly made up because yes <laughs> i wear my makeup everywhere i go <laughs> so i was like let me get something light and um you know this is just going to give me some coverage um and and not have to put on a whole lot of foundation and this is what i got i think uh, you might find this for like $8.99 at certain places, but y'all know how CVS upcharge you. So I think this was like maybe $10.49 or nine, maybe it was $9.49. I'm not really sure. Um, so check it out. You'll like it if you're just looking for something um, lightweight coverage. And it did even my skin tone. So I'm not wearing it today, so I can't give you a testimony on it. But um, 
Maybe I'll try for that video this weekend. Y'all know how lazy I am. <laughs> but anyway, you guys know the Valentine's Day is coming up. I really want to know, girl, what you getting for Valentine's Day? Or what you want for Valentine's Day? And if you have any special plans, I want to know that too, girlfriend. Yes. I wish this was a live call-in show so you can call in and talk to me. Wouldn't that be nice? We might have to come up with something like that. Like, you know, I get you guys' phone number or something and we talk live on my video. Wouldn't that be something? Let me work on it, girl. I ain't got my plan all together yet. <laughs> I'm full of ideas, but I'm not full of execution, okay? So listen, shoot me. Or don't. Don't shoot me. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk about Empire this week, although I am still loving Empire and Miss Cookie Lions. Yes, honey. So I'm going to do a tag this week. Um, there's so many tags going around that I want to do. I want to do Miss Slim Shell's Millionaire Tag. I want to do the tag that I saw Cat Eyes 8164 do, which is one thing that you would choose like out of all your makeup by the you know um you know if what's your one favorite lip gloss one favorite mascara i don't know but i want to do that one too so i'm going to try to get to those two this weekend but the tag that i am doing tonight ladies it is called a little bit of everything tag and i saw devin antoine do this tag hey girl hey and so i wrote down the questions and um let's see oh it's 30 questions so i'm gonna go fast okay First of all, it says, do you keep up with the Kardashians? Why, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I really like to see what those Kardashians are doing with their life, you know? They have um, all the latest fashions, and, you know, with, with all three of the girls, they have their own different individual styles, so there's a little something for everybody. Um, I pretty much keep up with the whole family. If they're on the tabloids, if they're doing something, I follow them all on Instagram. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> Number two, what old muscle car would you choose? I don't know what a muscle car is, so next. Um... Do you curse like a sailor? Well, not for real, but I do curse. <laughs> um, number four, if your significant other gave you a hall pass, who would you use it on? I don't particularly know. I don't know that I have a celebrity crush right now, but I can tell y'all a few years back, this may be embarrassing to some, but not necessarily me. A few, a few years back. Maybe like one or two. I had the biggest crush on Rick Ross. Okay? And you better not say gross, girl, because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Woo, honey. <laughs> Let me get a little sip of my drink. I don't think I still have a crush on him, but I did have a big crush on Rick Ross. Okay. So, um, number five. What is one thing you do that you hate to admit? Oh, my God. I had just thought about this the other day. I oh, girl. <laughs> Y'all gonna say this is a fool. This is a nut. I oftentimes wear mismatched socks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like if I'm wearing a boot or something that day and I'm in my closet and I cannot find a match sock because I'm too lazy to match them together once I wash them all <laughs> If I can't find a match in a few seconds, listen, it's Mitch Mac. Yes, it is. I'm not going to be taking my feet out for anybody. But yes, sometimes she wears Mitch Match socks. <laughs> Number six, do you brush your teeth at morning and at night? Not every day, okay? And I don't want to be talking about it. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me get that straight. I brush my teeth every morning, but I don't brush them every night. A lot of times I forget. Um, number seven, what is your go-to drink at Starbucks? So my go-to drink at Starbucks lately has been the Oprah Chai Latte. You guys know that I like it warm and I like it chilled. But before that, it was the... Um, Caramel macchiato made upside down. Don't even ask me what all that's about. But basically, whatever way they stack it and make it, if you ask for it upside down, it's turned the other way. So to me, it's a little bit sweeter, okay? I get the sweetness before I get the coffee. Number eight, is your current hair color your real color? Why, yes. Yes, it ain't. <laughs> but this, I believe, is FS30-27. Girl, this is my new color, okay? When you see me with some hair on from now on, this is going to be the color. <laughs> I love it. Um... Number nine, if you could swap bodies with somebody, who would it be and why? Mm. Well, hun, see, I can tell y'all the truth. Now, Miss Amber Rose, she's been putting her body out there for everybody to see, and she does have a nice body, okay? I ain't gonna take it away from her. But, honey, I think a body like that is way too much pressure. Listen, I got to keep it up, keep it right, keep it tight, and I can get all this attention. And listen, honey, I don't need all that, all that extra pressure. <laughs> so, I don't think I would swap bodies. I'm good, okay? Um... Let's see, what number are we on now? Number 10, have you read 50 Shades and what do you think? 50 Shades of Grey and what do you think? So yes, I have read 50 Shades of Grey. I'm on book number three. I absolutely cannot wait till the movie comes out on Valentine's Day. Shameless plug. Can y'all send me a check for that, okay? Um, 
um, I love it. Um, at first, it was kind of hard to get into and read because it's about a lot of like S and M and bondage or whatever. But it kind of draws you in and you kind of get to know the character. So I'm still on book three. I haven't finished it yet. Number eleven. Do you crack your knuckles? No, I do not. Number twelve. Have you accidentally texted someone something that you were supposed to send to someone special? Uh -uh. But I can tell you this, as long as you keep on living, that is bound to happen. <laughs> um, number 13, have you created a fake profile to creep on someone? No, but I have had it done to me. And let me tell you how I found the person out. So basically, um, on certain apps like Instagram, um, you can let it connect to your contacts. And so it'll tell you everybody in your contacts um, that is on that particular site, like Instagram or whatever. And I found somebody, honey, they had a fake account and I know they was watching me with it. I ain't gonna tell y'all who it was, honey, cause I'll be spilling all my tea. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I'm like, what, what were you gonna do? What, was, what kind of information was you gonna find? Can't you just follow me? Child, child. Number 14, which is your weakness, cookies or pastries? Wine. <laughs> Wine flavored cookies. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm not big into cookies or pastries. I do like cakes, however. What do you love about yourself? Um, I love my personality. Um, I love one of my best traits that I feel for me um, is that I'm very thorough. And that's just comes along with being a Virgo. Um, one of the best compliments I have was from a relative. And he said... Um, if, if you if you ask her to do something, she's going to do it. And if she can't do it, she's going to come back and tell you why it can't be done. Okay? Yes, it's God. That's me. Um, number 16, do you have to match your nail polish to your toes? Mm -mm, honey, if she ain't matching her socks, you know her nails and toes ain't matching. <laughs> number 17, tell us a few things about you that people will be surprised to know. Shut up. Let's save that one for another video. Stay tuned, girls. Um, number 18, heels or flats? Definitely heels. Number 19, if you could do anything for one day and money wasn't an option, how would you spend it? Hmm. I would take the significant other to Hawaii for the day. Mm -hmm. Hawaii is like, to me, the most magical place on earth, honey. Yes, I'd spend it in Hawaii, you know, at a luau in a grass skirt <laughs> all that good stuff <laughs> um number 20 what was the last yt video you watched Ooh, i think it was ew. probably was cat eyes 8164 her one item tag i believe yeah hey girl um number 21 do you have road rage well just a little bit just a little bit. <laughs> I'm notorious for calling people out of their name on the road. It's not always a curse word. Sometimes it's just maybe Lucille. Girl, get on out the way, Grandma. <laughs> um, what is your favorite rock and roll song? I don't really have one. I don't really listen to rock and roll. And the one that comes to mind is Eye of the Tiger. That was my school song because we were tigers. So, yeah, Eye of the Tiger. Um, number 23, who was your first kiss and do you still talk to them? My first kiss was, I believe, maybe the ooh, sixth grade, maybe. And his name was Desmond. And no, I don't talk to him. As far as I know, I believe he died many, many years ago. Um, we have a mutual friend. I believe she told me that many years ago. So no, I don't. Um, number 24, if you could have a, a YT, if you could have any YouTuber's closet, who would it be? Girl. Probably that Nitra B. Nitra B, I started off watching her. Um, she does hauls, makeup, huh? See, she has makeup room out of this world. Um, and it, the next question says, if you could have any YouTubers makeup collection, what would it be? So it would be Nitra B's. Mm -hmm. Hey, girl. <laughs> Number 26, do you have a nickname? I have a few. Um, Tootie is my nickname. Um, most of my really good friends call me Chris. Um, and then... I'm going to leave the rest to y'all's imagination, okay? Mm -hmm. Number 27, what is the best thing about your YouTube channel? Chit chat Friday, girl. Tell your friends. <laughs> Send them over here. Tell them I say hey. <laughs> um, 28, how many cars and how many cars have you had in your lifetime and what were they? I've had four different cars. Um, my first car was a Dodge Colt. I got that shortly after high school. Then I had a Cavalier. And I had a G6, and I bought the G6 because Oprah gave them all the way on her show. And I just wanted to pretend Oprah gave me one, too. <laughs> and um, my current car is an Optima. 
um, 29, your favorite pizza. My favorite pizza is um, the everything pizza. You know, it has the meats and the vegetables on it, and I prefer thin crust. Um, yeah, so that's my favorite pizza. Number 30, a lipstick that you want to have for the rest of y'all, for the, for the rest of your life. Heroin by MAC Honey. Purple. I absolutely love purple lipstick, and that's the one I'm going to go out of here with, okay? <laughs> but anyway, those are all the questions. Feel free to do the tag. Um, I wanted to do this tag because I have a lot of new subbies, and I kind of wanted to introduce myself to them because it's kind of hard to go back through somebody's videos and get to know them. So that's the reason for the tag. I'll talk to you ladies later. Bye.